Okay, now that we have our qua v made, we want to go in here and we want to make a little button to be able to maximize and minimize these viewports. Like what if you're on set and the director says, you know, hey, let me see camera five full screen. Let me see camera seven full screen. So let's go add a little button here where we can pop the window big and small. So in here in our overlay gray, let's make a button. And let's drag it here. Let's name this. That's gray. And then let's get some text. Drag it on our button. Make this a little smaller. And we'll call this maximize. Camera. And let's center this button here. It still feels a little big. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. That's good. Now let's go down here to the event. Let's make ourselves an event. So now that we have the event, let's grab our event. Pull it up here. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go grab all of our overlays. Because the best way that I can find to maximize and minimize all of these different things, and it's it doesn't feel like the best way to do it, but this is the best way that I figured out so far is to actually shuffle these things around in the uniform grid panel. So we want to get all the overlays and stuff them into a array so that we can loop through them and mess with them. So let's make a function here. Let's go get overlays. There we are. And then let's make a variable, say overlay. Okay, overlay array. And then make sure the type is overlay here, right there, object type, and make sure that it's an array. And if your overlays aren't showing up here, make sure that you've gone over here and made them a variable. So just go to each one and make sure that they are a variable. Now let's grab this overlay array and we will add to the array. Okay, and let's copy this paste down. It's gonna be four times here and then go grab our overlays. So blue, gray. And just add them. There you go. All right. Yeah. Okay, we won't worry too much about the quality stuff. Okay, so now we've packed all of our overlays into an overlay array. And we can close this for now, we don't need that. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are going to, when we maximize, we're gonna shuffle every other window that we're not maximizing into slot zero, zero. So everything's gonna be in zero, zero. And then we're gonna shut the visibility off on all the rest of these quadrants, just so you know, only one is visible. And then if everything's in zero, zero, it'll automatically maximize. So let's go here, let's make a function, um, max window. And then we're going to do a few things. One, we're gonna set everything to zero, zero, like we talked about. And then we're going to set the opacity on these things. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to feed in what overlay we want to be able to maximize. So let's do max overlay, make sure the type is overlay. And we'll pop out here for now. Let's drag in our function. And we'll set the overlay to be 
uh, gray overlay. This is the first one that we're working on here. You can just go ahead and pipe that in. OK, so now that we have our overlay, let's go through and put everything to 0, 0 first. So let's get our array so that we can loop through them. And then for each, OK, here. And then grab here and get a slot as uniform grid slot. All right. And then we want to set the column. And the column will be zero. And we want to set the row. And the row will be zero as well. And then we want to go through and make everything not visible. So let's drop a sequence here instead of just having one giant line. There we go. So a sequence here, you know, it just means run this line, then run this line, then run this line, then run this line. So I use sequences instead of having like this, this giant line here. Uh, or if you want to be able to set variables in the first chain and then call the variables in the second chain. OK, so down. Here, the same thing. Let's get our overlay array and let's loop through it for each. And now we want to be able to shut the visibility off on every array or every overlay except for the one that we're maximizing. So here, grab this and do exclamation point, and that'll give you a not equal. And as we're looping through it, we're going to say, OK, for every slot in our overlay array, if the name does not equal the name that we're feeding in here, then turn the visibility off. All right. Let's get our branch up here. And then we're going to set render opacity, make sure it's a widget type. And then we also want to set visibility. OK. All right, let's try this. So let's compile. And then let's make sure we fed in. Yes, we did. OK. So now when we maximize, oh. oh, I know what we did. OK, we forgot to actually run this function here to get our overlays. So up here, let's go to event construct. So this event runs as soon as you run the widget. So as soon as you do that, it will fire this event. And let's go here, get the overlays. OK. We were never populating this array here. All right, let's try it again. Compile, run. There we go. So perfect. Now the problem is, though, how do we get back, right? And then also, you know, this, this button still says maximize camera. So let's go build some logic where we can actually minimize now as well. So in here, in our maximize, let's do another pin. And let's get the button text here. So um, let's go over here and let's do uh, max button. And we want to be able to get the text here so that we can change it. Text. And is it? Again, I always pick the wrong type. I think it's a text object. Let's try it. Let's go out in here. And did we make our button text a variable? No. Let's name this. So text max cam. 
And use a variable. Now we should be able to get at this. And let's see if we got the right type. We do have the right type. Amazing. Okay, let's drop in here. Let's grab this and do set text. And we want the widget type set text. And then we can change this to minimize camera. Okay, compile, run this. Okay, so now it's changing. So now we need to be able to create some logic to uh, put the views back. So in here, at the end of this chain, let's make a variable here, make a Boolean, and just call it is mess. And it's a single type, and let's just make it a Boolean. So by default, we're going to keep this as off. And let's bring this in here. Actually, we don't want to get it. We want to set it. Hold on. Alt. And we'll set this as maxed. And we'll use this as our condition, whether or not we're going to maximize or we're going to minimize. OK, compile that. All right, now in here, let's make a min window for minimize. All right, and then in our minimize window function, we are going to set everything back. Okay, so we're going to set the red overlay, you know, back to you know one zero zero one, whatever it is, and then this, you know, back to zero one, and this back to one one, and then we'll set all the visibilities back to on, and then we'll set our is max variable so that we know that we've set it back. So let's jump in here. Let's grab another sequence. And then let's get our overlays here. So if you have a bunch of you, I mean, there's just four, so it's fine if we do it manually. But if you have a bunch of views, you'll probably want to build some logic in the get overlays function where it stores the position that you have it set here. So like in the overlays function, you can kind of you know get the position of this and then store it in some sort of variable so that you don't have to set each one manually in here. You can kind of loop through and create some logic. But for here, it's, it's fine enough for us to set it. So set as uniform grid slot. And then let's go set row. And we want to set column here. And let's do gray first, actually, because we know that's zero, zero. There we are. Now let's copy and paste three more times for our four overlays. And there we are. All right. So let's have a look. Red is row zero column one blue is row one column zero blue is row one column zero and then yellow will be one one. Okay. Now after that, let's go set all the visibilities back to on. So let's get our array and then for each. 
We don't have to go one by one here. And let's set render opacity. Make that to one. And let's set visibility. To visible. Oh, you know what? I don't know if we actually made that invisible on the last one. Let's go double check. I don't remember doing it. Okay, let's just compile that for a second. And let's go into our max. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We just set the visibility. Okay, let's make this hidden. There we go. Compile. Go back into our max window. Okay. And now the last thing we want to do is we want to change the text on the button and we want to set our Boolean variable. Okay, so let's go get our button input. Text. Object. Button text. Max button text. Okay. Nope. Go to our event graph. Let's drag it in. In. Let's get our button text. Where is it? There you go. All right. We don't need that. But... And let's go set. Text, make sure it's the widget type. And let's say minimize camera. And then let's set our Boolean back to say that it is not max. Okay. Compile that. Now let's go set up some. Why do I keep doing that? Some easy logic here in our event graph. So let's grab this is max branch. All right, disconnect this. Move this over. Move this over. Okay, and we're going to say if max is set to true then we want to minimize. If max is set to false, then we want to maximize. Pull this down. There we go. Must have straight lines. There we go. And then actually we can just do the same. We don't need that. All right, let's see if this worked. Let's run it. Maximize, minimize. Ah, we need to change our. Okay, we need to change our button text. We might have mistyped or something. Let's just let's pick a camera. Make sure that we don't lose our camera. Okay, great. We don't lose our camera. So let's go back and fix that button. Let's figure out what happened here. I think. So when we go to max, we're gonna hit minimize. Say minimize, and then when we go to yeah, here we go. We want to set this to max minimize camera. Compile and save. Now let's try it. Okay. Minimize, maximize, minimize, maximize. Awesome. So now you should know enough now to be able to propagate all of these buttons around. Let's go ahead and do it quickly here. So let's drag this over and let's say max button and this move this down here. Copy and paste. Drag this out, paste there. We didn't get all our stuff here. Copy, paste. All right, so let's go make our buttons. 
and copy you, go to red, paste, rename, red, why is it, okay, here we go, red, text, red, go into blue, no, Alias blue blue and then let's go And since we're working in overlays, everything just kind of drops in, which is really nice and handy. Okay, so let's go get our button events. So red, I'm clicked. There we go, this is our red button. Is max and let's grab in our overlay red and our text red. So let's get our overlay red and then our text max cam red. Delete, delete. And now let's you and you. Okay, let's get overlay blue. Overlay blue, text blue. And come back and get the events. Or really yellow. And text yellow. All right, let's go get our events for blue and yellow. So here's blue, one clicked, and then Oh, that's yellow, sorry. This is blue. One clicked. Let's go feed this. So here's blue. Come on. And here's yellow. Compile. And let's run this. Okay, so each window is working. And we can feed a camera into each view. And it's rendering. And we can maximize and we can minimize. And we can open the config and we can set the resolution of the, uh, that, <laughs> we must reverse that. We can set the resolution of the render target. Let's go get that. I bet we reverse it. Red. And that's why, so that's why I color code the quadrants is that, you know, you, you, you know, red. Our input red. There it is. Yeah, we reversed it. There we are. Now we gotta set our cameras. Okay, so now it works. All right, so we've got a four up view where we can maximize and we can minimize. We can set the render target resolution and we're feeding in a HUD where we've bound to the camera attributes that changes in real time. 